land. The whole history of America is the history of rich white men telling not rich white people that their enemies are black and brown. It starts in the colonies of what would become the United States. Let's remember, during the colonial period, mid-1600s, there was no such thing as white people. I know some people who are now called white find that shocking, right? Because they think whiteness is real, right? But whiteness was created. Europeans didn't call themselves white. We didn't call ourselves white. We weren't all members of one big happy family. Are you kidding? Have you studied the history of Europe? The history of Europe was about killing each other. That's what killing each other and eating each other and this is going back as it was in the beginning so shall it be in the end those that have forgotten their past are deemed to repeat it this is all a lie and this is all a lie and i told my brothers and sisters these people are pawns even the entity themselves don't even give a fuck about them here you go we did in europe we just killed each other before we figured out there were other people to kill we just killed each other right <laughs> I mean, that was the history of Europe. The English hated the Irish, right? Northern Italians didn't even think that Southern Italians were Italians. The Germans hated everybody, and everybody hated their ass right back, right? There was no team called white, no race called white, but all of a sudden, in the middle of the 1600s, there was. Why? Why was it suddenly necessary to create this thing called the white race? Well, because rich people can count, that's why. And so rich folks looked around, the ones that owned all the land, you know, in the colonies, the colonial elite looked around and they realized something, that they were heavily outnumbered by African enslaved folks, by European indentured servants who were just one level above a slave, or other Europeans who weren't technically indentured servants, but they were still peasants, didn't have any money, didn't have any land, and they could do the math. They added it up and they were like, damn, we got to figure out a way to split these folks apart from one another or they're going to rise up and take our stuff, right? Because after a while, these black folks who were enslaved Africans and these quote-unquote white folks who were poor Europeans are going to figure out they're all getting played by these rich people, right? So ultimately, the rich figure out they got to come up with some way to get somebody in that group on their team. The easiest thing is to get the poor Europeans, right? Because at least they look like you. They sort of share some of the customs and the culture. So they all of a sudden create this thing called whiteness and they say, now you're part of the club. Now we're going to let you testify in court, enter into contracts, vote, at least if you're a man, own a little bit of land, at least if you're a man, right? And we're going to get rid of indentured servitude. No more of that because you're too good for that. And we're going to take the white men now called white men and put them on the slave patrol to keep black people in line. Give them a horse and a gun and a badge and make them feel big and powerful, right? They're still poor. They still don't have anything. They didn't pay the slave patrol well. Right? Just exploited them, used them as a buffer between the elite and the The video is freezing, my people. Ain't this some shit? This is your police department. This is your local school teachers. See, they all fools. I told you they all are nothing but pawns and they they walk hand in hand with their own death. They're poor folks, particularly poor folks of color, and pretty soon the rebellions that occasionally happened where black and white got together to overthrow the elite, those stopped. Because the divide and conquer. <laughs> this joint keep freezing. Why? Had begun to work, right? You could turn people against each other by telling those poor white folks. That <laughs> That's not me, my people. It's literally freezing. They do not want this to play. Why? See, because this is all happening right now. The fool is realizing. It was a fool the entire time. The moment that you join a system to enslave black people, you actually enslaved yourself. You were a fool the entire time. You were being played the entire time. You were walking hand in hand with death and you did not even know it. The entire time. You play ignorant to it. You play the fool to it. They gotta keep these black people in line. And now that the sun has turned up its energy. And so that divide and conquer gets initiated in the colonies. Rich See, white men telling not rich white people that their enemies are black and brown. Let me say that again. The whole and now that the sun has turned up. Now y'all want to say we're sorry. We apologize. Because the sun has hate. The sun doesn't hate you anymore. It dislike your lack of competence. That's what it is. And now it's over. Too late.
Only thing y'all can do right now is band together and build underground bunkers or figure out where you're going to be at. That's the only thing y'all can do. It's too late. Every the, your, your fate has been sealed. Call it whatever you want. You can get mad at me, whatever you want. Your fate has been sealed and you did it to yourself. <laughs>